As you can tell by today's title, I am finally, thank you guys for your patience by the way, bringing you guys my morning self-care hygiene routine. Now I'll be running you guys through a very detailed step-by-step -step routine of what I do to get myself so fresh and so clean, clean, of how I go from this to this. But before we hop into this video, I cannot hop into it without thanking Karma for sponsoring it. By the way, if you have no idea what Karma is, let, let me go ahead and put you on something real quick. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that makes sure you never, okay, never miss a price drop or coupon code. So AKA, Karma helps you save them coins, okay sis? I can personally vouch for the fact that Karma is the truth. And let me tell you why. This is actually why I've held off so long on doing this video. One of my favorite, favorite self-care and hygiene products of all time. Let me grab it for y'all real quick. This probably looks familiar to some of you guys if you watched my recent shower routine. I used this at the end of it and oh my gosh, I have not been able to get my hands on this since that video a few months ago. And I just have been devastated to be honest. It became such a huge part of like my overall routine. So karma hit me with the little notification thing to let me know that it came back in stock and guess who immediately hopped on the computer? Like immediately. So if you're interested in accessing all these karma benefits that I'm bragging about, go ahead and listen up. For one, you're going to need to go ahead and download the Chrome extension on your computer if you don't already have it to access karma. Once you've done that, then you can visit any of your favorite stores and save items that have caught your eye, your attention, that you've been wanting for a while, that you might want a little later, whatever it is, you can go ahead and save that item. And then you can receive notifications either via email or mobile push when the item you save goes on sale, has a coupon, or comes back in stock. I guess I'll show you guys a little teaser too, by the way, of some of the karma lists that I have created for myself. As you can see here, it's so dope because you can organize your items into multiple wish lists so you can shop more mindfully and hopefully have less impulsive buys, which for me personally was something that I needed. Not only that, karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically, which is why the Chrome extension is a must because it can only be done on a desktop. And, 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 as if all of that is not already enough incentive to hop on the karma Train. Karma also has a feature that lets you earn cash via PayPal when you shop from some select retail partners. So, ladies and possibly gentlemen, if you are interested in hopping on this Karma train with your girl, go ahead and click the link in the description box below to get Karma's Chrome extension today, sis. Okay, it's time to start saving them coins because y'all know holiday season is coming up. Then without further ado, <laughs> Let's hop into this video. All right, y'all, now we about to get real up close and personal, starting with oral hygiene. This is the first step of my morning routine. I like to go ahead and floss, especially because I'm someone who tends to get cavities very easily, so flossing is a must in my routine. Then I go in with my toothpaste and I brush my teeth. Let me know, by the way, in the comment section below, how long on average do y'all brush y'all teeth? I feel like I'm like anywhere between three to five minutes. I know some people can be like one minute and 30 seconds. Let me know. Anyway, after I'm done brushing my teeth, I go ahead and rinse off my toothbrush and switch it out for a tongue scraper. This is actually something I recently added to my hygiene routine about a month or so ago and I love it so much, especially after discovering the benefits of tongue scraping, such as improving your sense of taste, reducing bad breath, removing bacteria, the list can go on. Now after I'm done tongue scraping, I like to finish off my oral hygiene routine with some Listerine or just mouthwash in general, but I'm usually team Listerine. Swish it around, gargle a little bit, and then before you know it, my smile is ready to go for the day which leads us into the next phase of my morning routine, which is my shower time. Now I did switch things up a little bit and I have transitioned since my shower routine that you guys saw a couple months ago. I now use an exfoliating cloth instead of a loofah, which I feel like I owe some of you guys a thank you for, especially after reading the comment section of my shower routine. A lot of you guys were telling me about the cons of a loofah, in particular the fact that it can actually induce bacteria into your body. So ever since then I was like, all right, let me go ahead and try to find something new. Not only did I find something new but I found something better although I'm a little embarrassed to admit it never has my back seen this much action in the shower you guys which Loki tells me I've Loki had a little dirty back for most of my life 
but it's okay, it's okay, because I will never have to experience no dirty bag, nothing ever again. As y'all can see, this exfoliating cloth gets every nook, every cranny, it manipulates and contorts in any way, shape, or form that I want, so it's definitely been a saving grace and a new favorite staple in my shower routine. Not to mention, look how well it holds and distributes the lather of my body washes so well. Mm, chef's kiss. After I'm feeling thoroughly fresh and clean clean, I go ahead and rinse off myself as well as the exfoliating cloth and squeeze it out. Then it's time to go in with a staple product my OG beauty gang has seen me use and brag about countless times, the Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Soap. This is the one and only soap that I've been trusting for years to keep my lady parts so fresh and clean clean without interrupting my pH balance, I will never sway. And yes, by lady parts, I mean both front and back ladies. Don't be afraid to get up in there, cause Lord knows nothing down there is off limits when it comes to funk and sweat. Now that all the true hygienic cleaning has been done, it's time to get into that cute stuff. Starting with this Dove Body Wash Mousse, y'all look, look at this. It's as aesthetic as it looks and feels, you guys. It's like a freaking cloud that you're applying to your skin. This is black girl luxury right here. If you have not tried it before, I highly suggest you giving this product a try. And not only is the product luxury in itself, it also can be used to give you a nice clean shave in the shower, which I love. And of course, y'all know I gotta use it on my lower body as well. Every crevices, every nook, every cranny, every toe, as y'all can see, it gets some of that Dove mousse, okay? Once my body is fully coated, I go ahead and rinse off, then finish off with my fave, the Fresh Brown Sugar Body Polish, y'all. Honestly, I feel like this product speaks for itself. I don't really need to say much. I'ma just let y'all watch how it works its magic on my melanin. All right, so this is my skin before. Now watch as the water runs off my body. Do you not see this glisten and sheen happening on the melanin right now? Can we just take a moment of silence for this? This glisten, this glow? Bruh, favorite product of all time. Not only does it make my entire body feel baby booty soft, it literally polishes the skin, y'all. Like if you use this product, you 1000% will never exit the shower ashy, dry, nothing. And I don't know about y'all, but I love that for me. Anyway, now moving into skincare, I like to go ahead and use a hot washcloth to wipe down my face and open my pores so that it can take in these skincare products I'm about to show you guys. There's three products in particular that I use for my face only. This Vitamin E oil, Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum, and Pond Dark Spot Correcting Cream. I mix all three together and then apply it to my face, which makes my skin look so vibrant and moisturized, and that is a must for me because a lot of you guys know I don't wear foundation, and oftentimes I don't wear makeup, so making sure my skin stays clean, clear, and on point is top priority for me. Now, something I do also tend to do every once in a while through the week if I notice I kinda have some dark circles going on under my eyes, I throw on these 24 karat gold eye mask and leave them on while I hop into the body care portion of my morning routine. I like to mix this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil with the Sol de Danero Bum Dia Bright Body Cream and apply it all over my body. And when I tell y'all I smell, actually I was gonna say like a snack, it's more than a snack. I smell and look like a full three course entree served with dessert when I put this combo together. Y'all see how the melanin is hitting? And not only is it hitting, I smell divine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually finish up the body care with this 0% aluminum free Dove deodorant and Vaseline stick for my lips. The lips gotta stay moisturized, okay? Make sure you give them a little TLC before just plopping on some lipstick or lip gloss. Now after the body care is taken care of, it's time to hop into that hair care. Thankfully I kinda have a little protective style going on right now, so I'm just plopping on this little pony. Well actually, it's a wig that I decided to use as a ponytail for this particular hairstyle. But this is usually the time where I'm like laying my edges, or touching up something here and there that has to do with my hair. Maybe adding a little hair growth oil around the edges. It just depends on what the day is, what the hairstyle is, whatever. But this day in particular, my edges were already laying or setting prior to getting into the shower. So after attaching the ponytail and taking off my scarf, my hair is done. As you can see, you look real cute. Swing that ponytail, girl. Once the hair care is taken care of, it's time for final touches. Final touches being perfume, my outfit for the day, all right? And just like that, your girl is dressed and ready to 
to douse myself in this new favorite perfume scent of mine, the Chanel Chance Parfum. Mm, everything, y'all, everything. After that, I go ahead and remove the gold eye mask, tap in the leftover product, and believe it or not, y'all, we are done. Okay, so that concludes my morning self-care hygiene routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was worth the wait, but yes, you guys. I told y'all it would be a transformation, didn't I? If you're interested in any of the products that you saw me use in today's video, check that description box. I will have the products linked down there. Also, comment below if y'all want my nighttime routine. If y'all thought this was something. <laughs> My nighttime routine is low key, top tier too. Not even low key, actually. Let me not downplay it. It is high key, top tier. So if y'all want me to do a nighttime routine, go ahead and hashtag nighty night. <laughs> nighty night in the comment section below, and I will know that y'all want me to bring that to you next. And then also, I was interested too. Let me get a little closer, y'all. I was interested in knowing if y'all would be interested in me starting to do like a self care hygiene collective haul. Y'all know how people be doing like collective hauls with like bougie things, Chanel purses, Bottega, whatever, whatever. How about I? bring y'all self-care hygiene collective hauls. Let me know what y'all thoughts are on that. But again, that is all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new, cause the beauty gang is clearly fit. And until next time guys, bye.